hey guys good afternoon good evening welcome back to my channel this is Abodo Yibo TV if you are joining us for, for the first time my name is Bridgie and what we do here we do shows about issues that affect Africans who live in the diaspora we talk about relationship a whole lot and generally contemporary issues that affect people of color now in my last show I talked to you guys about a lady one of our sisters who had some difficulty um, being able to conceive because of something that happened to her a very bad experience that happened to her when she was only 16 years old in Nigeria following up on that story today I'm sharing the second bit of the story so I'm gonna play you the audio again like I did previously I have this guy's her voice I'm gonna play you the audio and I'll come back and then we'll discuss and I'll give my thoughts about what I think about the situation as it is at the moment I don't know I have two serious boyfriend one is for my place, one is from Edo State. Now, the one from my place is the one I really love with my heart. The one from Edo State, I did not love that. Although I passed through Africa country, the story is complicated somehow. How I involved myself into these two relationships, and now the thing is hooking me on my neck. So the one from my place, you don't have documents now. But the one from Edo State, that one has documents. So I'm saying the, the aspect of going to Nigeria, that's why I'm saying this. So I don't know the advice you gave to me. So the one from my place, you don't have documents and I love him most. The one from Edo State, is, that one has documents. But the one from Edo State, no, but the one from my place, I told him, please look, this is what I'm going through. I did not hide it. I did not hide this my problem to two of them. I did not hide it for two of them. So now the one from my place, I told him to go and see my family so that let me know where, where my mind belongs to, so that my mind will surely settle down in one place. He did not do it. So because of the pressure of my family, they were telling me there is no time you do to settle down this that. So the the adopted guy was begging me to give him chance. That one I really know that I did not really love him hundred percent. But he was we are not in the same country. But the one from my place we are in the same country. But the one from Edo State we are not in the same country. So the other the other guy that's from Edo State that one was begging me since I know that that one from since ten years now. The one from Edo State I know him since ten years. The one from my place I know him since six years now. So the thing is com is complicated because of the place I pass when I was coming to Europe. Okay, now I don't know what to do concerning these two guys. So after when I've told the the guy that the one the one from my place after when I've told him if you don't want to see my family, okay, no problem with me. He said the one from my place said the only way he can see my family is that if my enemy did not give him a yacht even if after we have gotten married, if if uh, I did not give him a child that is going to marry a woman no that is going to have child outside our marriage. I said no. So that's why he did not want to involve himself from my family. But the one from Edo State told me right from the one I knew him that he is going to be there. That is when we are in Africa. That he is going to be there for me. That I did not even know that I have fibro. But to have pregnant is a problem for me. I told him, but I, I don't know why. I don't used to have get pregnant. I don't know why. He said, I should know why. But when we get to Europe, we are going to find out what is the problem. That I should forget, even if child or no child, that is going to marry me. Or else we go for ad ad adoption. That is what the, that is what the Edo guy is telling me. But now the problem the Edo guy is having is problem of document. He has a document, entirely document, but the document is complicated. Before he will, I, I've tried for him to come to the place, the country I am. I've tried for three good times. The journey was failing. So before you know, the document will expire. He will put the document on renew. Before a document come out problem of problem problem of one thing or the other will come to his way so i'm tired of him that is why i said no 
But last year, November, my family was telling me this year has gone again. No, go and settle down with that Benin guy. If the uh, if if the one from my side is not ready, I should go and settle down from the Benin guy. So the Benin guy was the adult guy was begging me to give him chance to go and see my family. I said, okay, no problem. I will give you chance. So he traveled that December last year. Travel to Africa, where he go for my introduction. So since he came back from Africa, he came back February before when he came back, our plan was if you know you are going to if you know you are going to do introduction, after introduction, either paper or paper, you must come back to my country. Because the country I am is more better than the country he is. He said okay. Unfortunately when he come back from Africa, use a use recipe say so go to Nigeria. No, he, didn't, he did not use card. He used paper. Recipe say we call it recipe say here. He used that one to travel to Africa. When he comes back, I tell him, please, you are complicating this our relationship. You come back. Forget about that uh, document. After it's two years since you have this document, you have not used this document to work. You have not use this document to, to, to gain, you have not used this document to have money, you leave this document and come back to the country I am so that we know how we, we get prepared for your document so that I can give you documents. He said tomorrow, tomorrow is next tomorrow. Till now, I have not seen him. I have not seen him since he came back from Nigeria, since he came back in February. Before you know, this uh, problem of coronavirus, now I'm confused. I don't know what to do. He did introduction, but I don't know if I should start waiting for him till he decide to come to the country, or if I should move on with the one from my place that leave the same country with me. I don't know, and that one is not ready to see my family except I got pregnant. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm tired. Every time when I think of it. I feel hot when I think of it I feel hot and I am 42 years I don't have time okay this the, the one that the one from my place he agreed for us to do IVF he agreed very well but I want to do my even if I want to do IVF I want to do my IVF in Africa okay if I said let me wait for him now he don't have document yet he will take extra four years for him to have documents that time I will be 40 six there's no time for me or i should forget about him and find how to convince the one from Edo state for him to come back here as far as he have paper so that we can travel to africa for the ivf i don't know i'm confused ma please i don't know what to do i don't know what to do I'm frustrated, I'm confused, I'm depressed because of this problem I'm facing. I don't want to, I don't want to go into a new relationship again because in Europe, it's difficult to see a, a guy or a girl that is good or that's responsible. Since five years, I, I'm in this country, I've not dated any other person I met in Europe, except these two guys. So, I don't know the one to drop, I don't know the one to follow, I'm tired. I'm tired. That is what I said. I want to tell you, please, if you can be on live video where people will call to make their own opinion so that I will know. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm tired. So, you've heard um, from the horse's mouth what she said about uh, the relationship she found herself in. So, basically, she's in this complicated or, as she says in her own uh, words, that is complicated. But she's in this relationship with two people one is long distance that she got into um while she was coming to europe along the way and he lives in italy and the other one is somebody that she says from her place who lives in the country where she lives which is france now the issue here is that the guy who lives in france nearer to where she lives or where she lives exactly has no document and he's given her conditions because she's opened up according to her she's opened up and told both of them her condition in terms of being able to have a baby and the issues she's having medically some women will not tell some women will just keep quiet and you know when they get married then they'll find out but she's a good person you can tell and that's why she's very upfront she's open about it and told told them and now the guy in france is 
saying that, oh, you need to have a baby for me to, before I can marry you, you need to have a baby. And, you know, I'm feeling like this guy, okay, he doesn't have documents. She is perhaps thinking, okay, I can give him documents if I, if I marry him or something like that. But he's saying get, get, get pregnant. And the, the most important uh, aspect of that uh, relationship is that he cannot travel with her because she's thinking of going to Nigeria to go and do, um, to go and do the medical uh, treatment. If she needs to have a surrogacy, she needs to have an IVF or whatever medical treatment that she requires should be advised because based on what she has said from the pre previous video about her infertility issues i will believe that she needs to be examined thoroughly by a gynecologist and somebody who knows about you know um ivf and all this assisted uh contraception before they cannot determine the best procedure for 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 her because we can't we don't know at the moment what it is she's saying that she started a program in france but couldn't continue because of the language barrier if you are listening my sister one of the things I would advise you to go and do very strongly before any other thing is to go to language school. I say this in all my videos that if you live somewhere where English is not their first language, for you to be able to enjoy that country, to enjoy the benefit of that country, you need to learn the language. It is not enough that you are working and you are earning a, a, a salary and you are comfortable. Without knowing the language, you cannot help yourself. For instance, now, you can't proceed with your medical examination, which will probably be free for you in France. I don't know if, if medical treatment is free there. But, I mean, it would have been much easier if you were able to follow through in France. So, uh, my sister, I'm going to advise you to please, even if you have to pay for it, go to language school and learn French. It is something that you can do. Even if you are working, do it evenings, weekends. Make it top priority because if you learn French, it will be easier for you to go to clinic and you will understand all the procedure and what the doctor is saying. In case, if you are not able to go to Nigeria, you cannot do it in Nigeria. That's my suggestion, number one. Number two is the other one, the guy in, in Italy, the adult guy in Italy that he's saying, that, oh, uh, he was supposed to come from Nigeria, but now he refused. He went back to Italy. He was saying today he will come, tomorrow he will come. My sister, now I'm washi washi. Make I not just lie you. Now washi washi. I can, I can, I can from the way you described him it doesn't seem real there's no guarantee that he hasn't got someone where he's living probably he's probably living with a woman or he's already got somebody there that he's married to or that he's living with that's why he's dilly dialing and doesn't want to come to, to to meet you because you even promised him that if he's able to come with the uh, temporary document that he has from italy and come to france that you'll give him documents and another thing that you said about him you said he's not the one that you love now, why would you go and marry somebody that you know you don't love? Already, you have issues on ground in terms of, you know, but he said he's going to marry you whether you're able to have a child or not. But if your heart is not with him, then are you really going to enjoy the marriage? That's what you need to, uh, uh, to ask yourself. You say your heart is with the other guy, but this one, your heart is not with him. That means you don't love him. If you don't love him, how are you going to enjoy the marriage now? Eh? So think about it. Are you sure he's the one? Then the fact that he's, not, he's refusing to come to, to join you, He's just dragging his feet. Then I will be very, very careful about that guy because I don't know whether it's for real or not. He may have somebody who's just playing you. I don't know 100%. But these are the things that are just going through my mind from your story and the way you've narrated it. Although he's gone to Nigeria. You say he's gone to Nigeria to do introduction. But that's no... That, for me, I don't know. I don't think it's a big deal, to be honest. I would say that for somebody in your situation now, all this introduction it shouldn't even be your priority. Whether they do introduction or they don't do introduction. Your family will always be demanded that you should bring us on. Let me tell you, my sister. You know how many people, uh, family, don't push to go and the wrong, the wrong relationship? You know how many? I listened to one uh, show yesterday on uh, this uh, Dr. Shola. Doctor, this guy, uh, Dr. Shola, that lives in the U.S. that does show on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook, but yeah, I, I listen to it here on, on YouTube. And one woman was narrating her life story. I could not finish that story. I was crying on my bed. I was shedding tears because of the, the bad experience, very bad experience she had in her marriage. Why? Because of family pressure. Her mom was pressurizing her. Marry him. Marry him. Marry, marry him. So, please, all this family pressure, I don't buy into it. You have to do what makes you happy. What you know suits your need at this point. After all, it's the same family that led you to where you are. Now, not be a man because why you did this position, what you did now. I'm not saying you should hate your mother I'm sure you've forgiven her. She acted in ignorance. She didn't know she was trying to protect you in her own, you know, way. This is what African mothers do. They would think they are protecting you, but they are ruining your life and destroying you. They don't know. So I believe she was acting in ignorance, but enough of the family, family, family. You have to focus on yourself now. You're 42 years old, going 43. You don't need any family pushing you to say, marry this one, marry this one. 
Choose the one that you know will give you peace. If this guy in France is the one that you know you love and he will give you peace, if he's the issue of a child, that's another thing entirely. That's another matter entirely. But I don't think you should be following family to say, my family said this, my family said that. When I first heard your story, in my mind I was saying, maybe if I were you, those, these two guys are big, I would just, I would just tell them to go and find a new person altogether. But you said that you don't want to start a new relationship again. At this point, you don't want to start in a new relationship again that you know, it's either one of them that you have to go with. So, I would say go with the one that you feel more comfortable with and it will be the one in France. Because the one in, in Italy, the only reason why you want to marry him is because he's going to see your parents. You say you don't love him. He's refusing to come. But the one in France is already there. He's near you. And he wants to marry you. The only reason is that he's saying there needs to be a child. Although, I don't have some issues about that because if somebody really loves you and says he wants to marry, you shouldn't put it conditions. You shouldn't be putting conditions to say oh, you must give me a child first. You didn't tell him to give you document first. So I don't think it should be a trade by battle like that. It's God that gives children. I think if he really loves you, he should have more empathy about your situation. He's supposed to understand your situation. Say, you are a woman who is going through pain. You are going through a lot of agony. You are depressed. All he should be looking at for is your happiness. How to make you happy. Now he's supposed to they wipe your tears if they say, my dear, don't worry. God will do it for us. God will do it for us. And now he's supposed to they follow you go to this clinic when you won't go. And lastly, before I sign off, I want to say, this Nigeria that you are planning to go and do IVF, I know I promised you that well, uh, I have a friend who had twins. Um, she went to Nigeria to do IVF and she had twins. I think I've shared her story on this channel before. She's in the US. That's not a problem. Looking for a, a, a clinic to do IVF in, in Nigeria is not a problem. But if you go without this guy, then how are you going to do it? And then you might be thinking about freezing some of your eggs now. Why you are? I think you should go and meet your doctor and and think about freezing your discuss. That's what I'm saying. That language, that language school is very important for you. Now it's like something you need to do. What will you both call ASAP? Please go and do it ASAP. It's very very important. Do it and then go and talk to your doctor about possibility of you know having some of your eggs uh, because he already said something about your eggs. So you need to have some. If you have some, maybe they can freeze some for you. And then lastly, even if God forbid all these things that you are planning, Nigeria, IVF, surrogacy does not work. What about adoption? You can adopt from Nigeria. You say you have the money. There are so many children in Nigeria that are looking for, for a very good home. Parents who will love and care for them. I'm telling you, it's a very good option. I know every woman wants to carry her baby in her womb, you know, and feel what it means to be a, a mother. But adoption is a very good, uh, good option as well. It will give you happiness. I'm telling you, and some people do get pregnant when they adopt, so I don't want you to rule that out. Adoption, either there in France or in Nigeria. So, um, if I think of any other thing uh, at the top of my head, that's, this is all I can think of now. But, I mean, we, you got my contact and, uh, yeah, we can, we'll talk again. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it here, guys. If anybody has uh, any opinion, so, but please be very, very, as always, I'm begging you guys, hey, Joe, to be alone. <laughs> be kind be very kind in your comments and uh, let's help this sister she's in a lot of pain she's in a lot of because of my pre if you have not seen my previous video where i talked about how she's not able to have children because of the experience she had at 16 years old please go and watch it it's the video before this one and then you understand why i'm saying so and uh, yeah so let's try and support this sister give her your best opinion of what you think she needs to do considering the circumstances on grand and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Thanks a lot for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.